Hi everyone, I'm Tom and this is Triton. Now, Triton is another filament made by Tallman, who's probably best known for his nylon filaments and the polyester-based tea glaze. Recently, he launched a Kickstarter campaign for a bunch of new filaments, which unfortunately didn't get funded, but Tallman decided to go through with bringing these filaments to market anyways, even if it meant smaller batch sizes and a slower release. And Triton is one of these filaments. Just like tea glaze, it is a PET copolymer, but with a stronger focus on temperature resistance, part strength and rigidity. It's still mostly optically clear and shares one of the huge advantages of tea glaze, and that's odorless printing, which after printing the supposedly odorless nylons, I found quite hard to believe as the nylons still have a very distinct smell. But Triton is actually completely odorless as far as I can tell. Not only are there no visible off-gassings like you can sometimes see with ABS, but really the only time I got a faint smell of it was when I pressed my nose right up to a hot chunk of Triton that got stuck to my heart and, and that had an almost unnoticeable smell of hot rocks. It's the best I can describe it, but really you will never smell anything when printing Triton as intended. And that can be a huge deal if you're trying to increase the wife acceptance factor of your 3D printer. Now, Triton is a high temperature plastic. I found that the recommended 275 degrees Celsius were pretty much the sweet spot to print at. Any lower end you lose a lot in terms of layer adhesion. Any higher end the plastic actually starts getting brittle and will now break within the layers instead of between them. If you try to break it anyways. Uh, while we're at it, the only grief I still have with Triton is that I can't seem to get the same kind of layer adhesion on bigger prints as with other plastics. For example, Aria, the dragon's wings, started to split in two spots right off the printer and the polyvase that I also unsuccessfully tried to print with polycarbonate never felt like it was really solid and started crackling as soon as I started playing around with it. Big print layer adhesion is better than ABS, but by far not as good as PLA or the softer nylon. But that's an inherent issue of the high temperature plastics and the fact that I'm printing in my relatively cool basement likely doesn't help there either, even though I have an enclosure around my printer. But unless you're printing larger, thin walled things, Triton is an incredibly robust and likable plastic. I myself mostly print ABS and I see Triton as a better alternative to ABS in almost every single regard. Smaller prints are incredibly strong, the plastic is reasonably stiff, probably almost as stiff as ABS, but it does not warp as much, even though it does still warp. It feels very elastic and springy and stretches quite a bit before it starts to permanently deform and eventually tears. So overall it's a plastic that can take a ton of abuse before it starts to give in. Unlike PLA and to a certain extent nylon, you can actually cut Triton with a sharp knife to take off a brim or some other thin spots that you want gone. To get that glossy clear finish on the prints you need to use thicker layers than usual. With a stock 0.4mm E3D nozzle that meant 0.25 to 0.35mm layer height. Which might sound like a lot and like it would make for super stringy parts and messy overhangs. But surprisingly, you can print overhangs like a champ with Triton. Small ones like the ones on my test part tend to come out a bit spotty, but smoother and more regular surfaces, including the inside surfaces of a hollow part, come out absolutely perfect up to the most insane overhang angles. Bridges work well too if you take them slowly. One thing that took me a while to figure out was what kind of surface to print Triton onto. Tallman recommends a bed temperature of 90 degrees Celsius and I figured that was onto clean glass or captain as that's what works for regular PET, but neither of those nor blue tape, green PET tape, glue stick or hairspray worked out. And I actually lost yet another heat break to having to clean off the hot end one too many times here. What ultimately worked was simply bumping the bed temperature to 120 degrees Celsius for the first layer and 110 for the rest. So temperature wise I printed exactly like ABS onto the same surfaces. And while PET does not stick as insanely well to some of those surfaces as ABS, it still grabs onto any of them well enough to keep the print stuck. 
One other hiccup my role of Titan has, which I attribute to the fact that mine is probably still a pre-production sample, is that it was significantly undersized and had tiny air bubbles throughout the roll, at which my extruder would sometimes press the filament together too much and grind through it. But using a slightly lower tension, soft that, and I'd very much expect that the filament you will be able to purchase should be very close to perfect. Now, while it is a high temperature plastic, it still doesn't quite have the temperature resistance of ABS or polycarbonate. For example, when quickly tapping threads with a cordless drill, it tends to melt around the tap instead of giving a clean cut. But it's already way better than PLA, as being able or needing to print it with such a hot heated bed shows. As an added bonus to all this, Triton is food safe and approved by all kinds of official agencies as it's basically a BPA-free plastic that was engineered as a direct replacement for polycarbonate in things like baby bottles or drinking bottles in general. Many hot ends do still use at least a brass nozzle, which can contain lead, but since you're using the same nozzle for hundreds of meters of plastic, any heavy metals that could potentially be transferred to the plastic will be diluted to homeopathic levels anyway. Though, if you're still worried about the contamination from the nozzle, you can get, for example, a stainless steel nozzle for the E3D hotends, and that should give you 100% trustworthy, food safe, and dishwasher safe parts. So, I've compared Triton to ABS a lot throughout the entire video, and that's for a good reason. I practically think of it as a friendlier ABS variety, even though that's technically not what it is. It shares many of the properties I like about ABS while being a bit softer, more flexible, virtually indestructible, and maybe even a bit easier to print. But it's also smell-free and translucent, and best of all, it's not even that expensive. In fact, it is cheaper than regular tea glaze, at least when you buy it from E3D, where it's almost half the price. Other stores might vary, of course, and while it's not a super low-budget filament, it's still reasonably priced, I think. And it's a darn good plastic. And that concludes this episode. As always, thanks for sticking around. Take care, everyone. See you next time.